Raran out here posting, I played the most ridiculous card game. First turn, kill, god cards, no mana, 20,000 cards. It's always interesting to get non-Yu-Gi-Oh players' perspective on the game. So let's see uh, if the criticism here is valid and what the experience is of a new player playing our divinely bestowed upon us card game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Surely it's going to be a fun and enjoyable experience for a new player. I'm gonna play this game for 10 hours. And I'm gonna do this to showcase to all of you how ridiculous this game ends up being. I have played this game previously for three hours and I went back to look at the footage and I couldn't tell you what the hell was happening. As someone who has barely played Yu-Gi-Oh, the game has always kind of scared me. It's not your typical card game. In fact, it's the most different out of all of them that I have played. The biggest difference being there's not really- a Some people still argue that magic is harder than Yu-Gi-Oh. Unbelievable. A mana resource system. You can kind of just play cards if your cards allow you to. And not to mention how long some of the card text actually is. From an outsider's perspective, Yu-Gi-Oh! seems like the most how long wait, 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 how many words? card text Five? actually is. Five? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, Five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, you get the point. From an outsider's perspective, Yu-Gi-Oh! seems like the you most the ridiculous card game that exists. And I want to see how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh! is. So I decided to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for 10 hours. And here is what He's I found. Here. Uh, is there a video you guys would recommend on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I have played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, the first couple hours were basically me relearning the game. And I thought I would remember a lot of it, but honestly, I didn't remember really anything. Guy has 1800 attack, but no defense. That's fine. Opponent is about to end her turn. <laughs> what? You made the top five cards of your deck and you can add activated spell. Listen, buddy, if you can't remember normal summon, main phase, battle phase, that's on you. Okay. Up your hand. Also, I don't know what excavate means. What is happening? In the hopes you won't be as lost <laughs> as I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Here. Are Sorry, that guy dualityed for big insect, and he he's screaming, "What's happening?" That's so funny. There are a couple important things to know. Yu-Gi-Oh uses different card types like monsters, spells, and traps, and they all go in a specific zone on the board. You can normal summon a monster if its level is four or lower, but for higher level monsters, you can tribute summon by sending other monsters to the graveyard. Oh, there's no shot you're tribute summoning Fenrir. Hold on, hold on, Raran, buddy. We need to have a talk here. <laughs> Ain't no way we're tribute summoning Fenrir, come on. Or you can use special methods that we'll see later in this video. The objective of the game is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero and send them to the Shadow Realm. But I can't emphasize this enough. This game is extremely complicated and there's a ton more stuff that I didn't mention. Am I dumb because I play Hearthstone or is this game too complicated? I am still hella confused. This game is complicated, don't worry about it. For the majority of the- Yu-Gi-Oh! players will cope so hard and pretend that Yu-Gi-Oh is not complicated. Yu-Gi-Oh is the most complicated card game and it might be one of the most complicated like video games that isn't an RPG or something in general. It is genuinely so difficult and hard to grasp everything in Yu-Gi-Oh. They're like from every mechanic to every phase to every step to every micro step to the damage step, the damage calculation, the summoning methods, the conditions, the activation requirements, the uh, lingering effects, etc. Like, th there is a billion different things in Yugi that is way too hard to grasp in such a short span of time. The only way you can even possibly comprehend Yu-Gi-Oh in its totality is to legitimately just play for multiple months. Months. And even then you have to play like semi-regularly because like if you just don't play, you're going to forget a lot of things. I've done really well on judge exams, for example. I got, uh, I think, uh, 86% on a certain website. Um, and it, it's like top tier difficult judge exams. If I was to take the test today, I'd maybe get 30%. Because if you don't actively refresh your memory on a lot of the things of the mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can just like forget it. And, and it, it, it just you just lose it because it is such a in-depth complicated game. And I will stand by that. The first hour, I spent a lot of my time in the solo mode because I... Did you lose to the dual training? Wanted to level gated. Don't Hold worry on. About it. For the majority of the first Did hour, you? I spent a lot of my time. Oh no, you skill set. Oh, you damage step. What's it called? I thought he lost time in the solo mode because I wanted to learn the game at a good enough level where I felt comfortable going against real players. And the solo mode seemed easy enough. I was winning basically everything that I did. So I felt very confident going into my first casual match. <laughs> <laughs> so unaware. I was winning in solo mode, so surely I'm going to win in bronze, right, guys? Uh, unaware. He plays it, get queues up until one tier element player uninstalls the game immediately. All right, let's find a casual match. Let's see how this goes. He's got what the hell is that thing? Chad, do I want to go first? Kurita. Uh, what do you mean? What the hell is that thing? Second. You want first? First, always. Oh, he chose second. Foolish amphibian. Okay, all right, this is my moment to shine. If normal special summon, you can send one. <laughs> campaigns of Hog, you should play those. <laughs> like, literally, before you even start a turn in Yu Gi Oh!, if you're not super familiar with a deck, it's like, hang on, normal summon special summon, and you're just like skimming and reading your entire deck and every card in your hand because every card has like 30, that's a minimum, 
50 plus words, two plus effects that all synergize together in different ways in a 19 step combo that involves special summoning like uh, eight or nine times. It, it's, it, is, it is genuinely complicated. I will say as a valid form of criticism, 100% Konami need to redesign the card text on Yu-Gi-Oh! Full stop. Either with keywords, if you don't like keywords, uh, I still believe keywords are the best way to do it. I will stand by that, but we can compromise on that and suggest at least using the OCG way of formatting card text, which is bullet points. And that by itself would do enough to help the game. And the legibility. I think that was a good play. Nice. Okay. Chat. He yeah. is going to explode by turn four. Yep. Good for him. Yep. Yep. That's your, that's the boy. That's the kid. All right. Then we do that. And then we do that. For the record, I have no idea what I am doing. Okay. If he doesn't at least end on seals, I'm going to be really sad. But that looked really good. Uh, sure. Yep. That looks good. Yep. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to go to the end phase. Whoa! Oh, what did you mean? We're seals. One. What happens now? What is that? Both players can oh my god, ancient. For one last... Huh? I don't know how I won, but the game's over. Now, some of you might be a Where's little the bit ancient gear pounding? What happened, and don't worry, it doesn't get any easier. You're gonna be just as confused as I was as I was playing it. I, it worked out, so we'll do it again. Okay. Oh god, he's got an anime girl. Oh my god, look at the board. <laughs> yes. Is there any anime girls in Hearthstone? What are you doing? Why are you chaining Ern? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are you doing, little bro? <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> you inspired me. To what are you doing? The first time ever. Thanks. When thirty-one to ten. Long. <laughs> There's no way this is forty-five minutes of uh, dragon made uh, gameplay, right? No problem. Ain't no way. Did I do anything good there? I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> did I do anything good? No, bro. You did nothing good. You went minus three for two kitchens. I think I'm about to get cooked. He what passed. He didn't even make going? seals. Oh, what is he doing? Oh shit! I can't read that He's now. losing to a cyber structure deck. You control. You can trigger one monster. Okay. This is amazing. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> I'm talking about you can turn the card in your hand, and if you do special summon him. Oh! You thought. Wait, what? Why is it negated? What just happened? <laughs> What just happened? Wait, why was it negated? Yes. This game's fucking over. This game's fucking over. Okay, hold on. I need to pay attention. So this is where you get your- Why did he pass to- to, uh, decode to- but, Bro, he's losing the decode talker pass. This is so sad. It's a real glimpse of oh how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh can be. I played all of those cards on my first turn. Let me show you what a typical turn one game of Hearthstone looks like. And close enough. Arms dealer I mean, pass, huge! Curious, this is what Rune Terra looks like. Now, if you're very curious to see how- Alright, and for context, this is what a turn one of Yu-Gi-Oh! looks like. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh! turn. How pro Yu-Gi-Oh! is played, Master Duel has a very nice feature which allows you to spectate games. Let me show you what a pro-level Yu-Gi-Oh! game looks like. To someone who does not play Yu-Gi-Oh! Quantal? Quantal? Oh, uh, not Quantal. ridiculous things you've ever seen in a card game. Unfortunately, I have to speed up the footage because if I let it go, this player's turn took exactly three minutes and basically won the game from turn one. And three minute turn, by the way, what he doesn't realize is this is a replay. So this is all fast forwarded. <laughs> a three minute turn one on fast forward is like mind breaking to a hearthstone player just saying and their opponent just have to sit and watch and that is the most insane thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that going first basically wins you the game holy crap did he do this through three hand traps what is this ad emancipator deck dude list please based on your opening hand and on top of that this is the world championship for Yu-Gi-Oh! how insane is it that you work so hard to get to this point just to lose the game without actually playing the game Man, hey that's not true he stuff? used two hand traps he used two hand traps. Yeah, for someone just looking into this game, like, Jesus Christ. Like, what? I, I, I can pause it, but I don't think that's gonna help. You use a pattern game, you learn the combo pattern, you understand the deck, it's just how the game is. Let me pause this shit, let me get paid there. Okay, and I know some of you are gonna be like, I'm coping, but here's the thing. The learning curve in Hearthstone is like... Something like that. Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like... So Wait, why does it go down? <laughs> what do you mean? If you play Yu-Gi-Oh for longer, you lose knowledge? That explains a lot to be fair. I feel like I've gotten worse over the years, admittedly. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. 
I don't know how people get past this line. No offense, but Aegis is a joke compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't care if you're the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh fan on the planet. I'm not saying Yu-Gi-Oh is a worse game than Hearthstone, but purely as trying to get into the game. And this is coming from someone who's played multiple card games. This game's fucking hard, dude. At least you can get blue eyes, white dragon on the side of your board, but which is really cool. And with the help of my new dragon, I basically spent the majority of the second hour still learning the exact same deck until I felt <laughs> confident enough to pick a brand new. Holy shit, progress. Look at this. He's summoned Chu. One. Which one is the easiest one? Wait, to how far into? Okay, so it took him how long? One hour and 30 minutes to summon Chu. <laughs> Oh, bless him, dude. Bless him. Learning the exact same deck until I felt confident <laughs> enough to pick a brand new one. Which one is the easiest one to understand the game with? Okay, what, which one should I buy? Burning Spirits. No, don't buy... Okay, Salad is... Honestly, learning the game with Dragon Maid is absolutely fine. The thing is, like, you're not going to be able to learn something like Salomon Great, or basically most semi midrange to... to midrange plus decks all the way up to combo. You're never going to be able to learn those decks without a guide. You, the, I refuse, like, as a new player, there is no world in you in where you can learn how to play a combo or even a mid-range deck as a new player. Like, imagine you pick up Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time and someone just gives you circular and says, go, do it. Show me what you can end on. I honestly feel like if they were to isolate themselves in a bubble and not look at any guys or take any advice, that could probably take, like, a month of just, like, activating different card effects and even then most of them would probably be illegal plays because they keep missing all of the random conditions and stuff like that you know what i mean all right most of you are saying burning spirits oh my god this is easy if this link is summoned, you can circle one card in your okay. <laughs> all right well i'll toss you guys now how do i use that deck with a new deck i felt very overwhelmed on how i even began to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh. my chat was recommending that i get a coach but i wasn't a huge fan of that because i was trying to do this as someone who is brand new to the game trying to like this is this is a good point as well. Like yes, as a streamer, you can just have like a coach of like some random pro that's just randomly watching your game, join your Twitch stream, and just teach you. Like right now, I have what two thousand viewers, two thousand people of potential audience members. I could probably name any deck in Yu-Gi-Oh right now, and there will randomly be a person right now, right here, who could probably give me a full linear combo and deck building and coaching combo guide advice from beginning to end of some. Ra I I'm just like Nordic. There's probably someone in this uh, chat right now who just knows that deck inside out and can just teach me from nothing. Do you know what I mean? Um, the average ego player does not have that resource. The best that they can do is go on Google, pick a deck, type in X deck guide, and then go from there. And even then, anyone can post anything on the internet. You could literally go on Google, type in Nordic, uh, or in his case, Salomon Great Guide, and you will just get like, I don't know, Salomon Great Mirror Rule 34. I don't know where I was going with that. To learn Yu-Gi-Oh for the very first time. There's a novel idea. Just find someone to teach you. Dude, that's, I'm doing this for a video, okay? So imagine I'm here like, hey, I, I'll listen. Now I got a teacher. So the, the whole video is gone. Basically, from what I'm understanding is in League of Legends, at least, if you want to learn the game as fast as possible, you pick one champion and you learn the game from that champion. In Yu-Gi-Oh, it is easier to play the game through one deck and then learn the game from that deck. When I came back the following... Yeah, that's probably true. At the very basic level, you should probably just play one deck and stick to that deck. And then... Once you learn mechanically how to play the game, you understand the phasing, a little bit of the damage step, the combo lines, you can branch out into another deck. Day, one of my viewers messaged me on Discord with a meta deck of the cards that I just bought to hopefully let me play the game at a higher level. And most importantly... Oh, oh, two hours and 10 minutes in, we're into building a real deck. Let me under okay, so again, by the way, like he never would have been able to figure this out on, your, on his own, right? Because no one is... It, like, if you buy a Salma Great Structure deck from the, play, from the store... You're never going to, like, understand how to build it or do anything with it or even what any of the combos are without, like, third-party resource. And I think that's the biggest issue with Yu-Gi-Oh! Because most video games, you can probably do so much just by yourself. Like, completely solo, you can get so much help and advice and learning just by playing the game. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game where you can play it and over time, you just, there, you make zero progress. Like, your, uh, your skill level in Yu-Gi-Oh! can be, like you know, here as you're like, you know, like days or something. And if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! completely by yourself, your skill level on day one is like zero. And then it's just like, like this. And you will just, and, and it, it just won't get better because of the way modern Yu-Gi-Oh! works. It's too complicated to learn in isolation. You need an outside source and a third party resource to teach you the game. I've had so many people uh, message me um, friends, for example, I used to play in a World of Warcraft guild. One of my, uh, guildmates attempted to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and he played it completely by himself. He went through the tutorial, he went through the solo mode, 
played a little bit by himself, and then from there, it's like, what deck do I build? He bought a Dragon Mage structure deck, and then the game told him to go to the cash store, because, you know, you finish a solo mode and it says go to the cash store. He goes and he buys, like, cards from, like, the Element Saber card pack, and it's like, what is he supposed to do with Element Sabers and Dragon Maids in the same deck? Like, there's nothing teaches you this, right? Except an outside source. That's the problem. But I don't think you can pick up, like, Hearthstone without looking at any decks and building a good deck. The, the thing is, like, Hearthstone gives you a, a good deck, by the way. Off of the bat, by the way, exclamation Hearthstone. I do have a sponsor code running, so if you guys want to download and try Hearthstone for free using my code, that, give it a shot. But anyway, uh, hashtag ad aside, um, other games do give you almost semi-constructed full meta decks uh, out of the bat here. Even something like Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. This is why I think structure decks should be, like, doubled in price, and they just give you everything. Because right now, the way structure decks work in Yu-Gi-Oh! is you get a structure deck, but it, it, it's not enough by itself alone. I mean, it is kind of, but it should probably be three copies of all of the necessary engine cards that you need, right? Like, I think, like, in my opinion, they should up the prices of structures and just give you what is basically a constructed deck at a very base level. And that in itself would be enough as a stepping stone for new players understand how to play Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit more. If I'm going to be completely Thank honest, compared to a lot of other card games, I felt like I didn't even scratch the surface on Yu-Gi-Oh. There was so much to read, so many things to understand, and because the game just plays so much differently than every other card game, I was feeling so overwhelmed. Also, I learned that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really have a rotation. They just ban cards, so there's 20 plus years of cards available in this format. The record, by the way, it took us 40 minutes to craft the deck. I am now a master at this deck. What? For 40 minutes? Watch me roll these kids. I don't I know, know. That timer says two hour 40. All right, so he finally has what is basically a Salomon Gray constructed deck. I want to say. Watch me roll these format. The record, by the way, it took us 40 minutes to craft. That is literally just a full power, like, constructed Salomon Gray deck. And you know what the funny thing is? This is giving an assault rifle to, like, a seven-year-old. Like, because if you don't know the combos and no one teaches you what this deck actually does, like, you were just giving, like, a, a nuclear bomb to, like, a kid. You know what I mean? Like, it, like, what are you supposed to do? Like, what is he supposed to do with this deck? You know what I mean? I can promise you, you just click yes on every single ability and then just make, like, a bunch of random links and, and, and that's it. That's, that, that's the deck. You know what I mean? Craft the deck. I am now a master at this deck. Watch me roll these kids. I know how to play this game now. I studied a lot. Let me go first. Let me show you the power. There's like no mulligan phase in this game, right? Like, like this is okay. He needs to hit something good off of Foxy. Magic has a mulligan phase. Runeterra has a mulligan phase. So does Hearthstone. There's if Yu-Gi-Oh had a mulligan phase, it would be the worst game ever. There's no, there's no mulligan phase in this game. You just, you just get your opening hand, right? Like I talked about it yesterday. Or like the, the first stream of this game is that the learning curve of this game is ridiculous. Like it's, it actually, it blows my mind that people like say to themselves in the year 2023, I'm gonna try out Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> like this game is so wild. Like, I, like what the fuck is happening? Even though I was still very confused. There 100% should just be like beginner format in Yu-Gi-Oh and like modern format. Like modern format is just so hard to jump into. I don't know how people do it. Like the only people who can actually physically jump in and play modern Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch is people who have a friend circle who already play the game. I, ref I, I completely refuse to believe that anyone can jump into Yu-Gi-Oh! Fresh by themselves without any external help. I just, I genuinely don't think it's, it's possible. I am about to show you the greatest play I made so far. Shit, hold on, my extra deck is, is, is uh, alive. It's time! <laughs> it's alive. Here we go! Finally, I play the game! I'm not really sure what side matters. Oh, yeah, we're Did he in. just hit nothing off Foxy? To play 30. Hold on. I wish there Why is there two cards in his hand? What happened? As a feature that Did he just drop hand traps and nothing happened? I mean, how much time they have played? Oh my God, what is his opponent doing? And how much time I? Bro, this is like coughing baby versus coughing baby, and they're both carrying hydrogen bombs. Like full power Salomon Great versus full power Labyrinth, and it's just piloted by like children. Played. I think I maybe played this game maybe 20 seconds. This guy's been playing the game for about eight minutes, I think. And there's no way that, like, as a newer player, I understand what's happening. Like, there's no way. Like, I'm getting, like, this guy's playing every Yu-Gi-Oh card in existence. Oh my god, I can do something. If you control this on my green, other than this on the graveyard, you can special summon this card and banish it when it leaves the field. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Okay, right. And then, and then, target one cyber monster in your graveyard, special summon. Usually, I mean, what else is he gonna call, right? <laughs> like, he's a salving great. Turn except cyber monsters, you can only use this one for turn. I guess I can special summon another monster from my graveyard. So that makes sense. Sure. So, like these guys, sure. Yeah. So you're gone. You're gone. And then we summon another monster. Unless he gets to play the game. And he's doing know. it. 
Oh, I should have put it there, I think. I don't really know what the arrows mean, if I'm going to be honest. Active fact. Okay, sure. Get in there, champ. Yeah. Gain 500 life points. Banish this card. From he's the doing it. You do special summon one link three monster or lower. Well, he's doing it. Co-linked. Co Wait, he's missing a body for uh, uh, update perfect. access, right? Target one link three monster. This special summon it to your zone. This card, you cannot special summon monsters this turn. Unless it, does this count for two? Oh, it does. I still don't understand what the fuck's up. We're not going to do this. Like, like genuinely, I can't get over the card text, right? Like, if you're sitting in this situation and playing, like, it's really boring to just sit there and, like, spend, like, 90% of your gameplay reading. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, it's not really fun. Obviously, don't know if there's a way to fix that, or maybe if that's even a problem. But for me personally, just sitting there constantly reading your cards, making sure that you actually fully understand it, I'm going to be it's just like, it, I generally think it's, like, kind of boring. I, I don't know. Maybe other people enjoy that and enjoy like the complexity of just like, you know, 90% of a duel being reading, but it can be simplified so much with like a better like structure of the card text. Uh, I want you and you're in. Cause I never feel like I'm sitting there just caught, like I, I played Hearthstone yesterday, right? For example. And I never really sat there just spending most of my time reading. You know what I mean? And I was like winning games. I actually did not drop a single game in Hearthstone yesterday. In bronze, obviously, you know, so it's whatever. But, like, the fact is, is, like, from a basic understanding, like, you understand the overall concept of the game, which is, like, curve your mana, trade well with stats, um, try and establish a field better than theirs, control the board. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has nothing like that. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has combo lines and spreadsheets. Like, that doesn't exist in other games, right? And then we get to do that again. You're playing against Coughing Baby. But I'm a Coughing Baby as well, right? Because I I, I, I don't play that game. Do you know what I mean? Banish one like monster from your field and destroy one card your opponent also controls. Also, the rest of the you can't banish Bro, it's bronze. He's in bronze as well. What do you mean? And he's not going to be able to understand Yu Gi Oh deck in the same way that I can understand a Hearthstone deck. Yes. You know what I mean? Give me another one of these bitches. No, this card. Oh, he understood to target this one. I mean, my guy has so much attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't target the Labyrinth. Let's do that one. Nice. Do it again. Bye, idiot. Okay, he's it's learning access code. I wanted to play. Okay, don't click it again. Don't click it again. Don't click it again. That's it. Out of here. Don't do it. Don't... I think everyone does the access banish itself misplay. Every... I'm sure that that is just a standard, you know, christening of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, you have... If you're a new player, you have to fuck that up eventually. And you learn the hard way. Fun or am I having fun? Bye... No! <laughs> I took too hard! Okay, we learned a lot. We learned a lot. You know what? It was a loss in the record. <laughs> I think I learned. Have you tried the story modes they teach you decks? Oh, God. Oh, he's doing plays. Wait, I, oh, my God. What? What the I still don't. Like, I. Dude, I am playing cards and I don't know. This is so. Like, I, I just don't get what hey, you learned from these games, man. Like, I guess what I'm understanding is that, like, you could special summon all of your board in one turn and that's basically it. I'm gonna go first. Yep. I don't want my opponent there to There it is. Yep. Alright, we're going first. So that means I get to play the game, right? Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Summon. Yeah. Alright, debug. That's why like full combo, right? Let's see if he, like, knows what to do here. Yeah. I want the gazelle. <gasps> Pog? No. Pog? Well, that's not learning anything. Like, what? You're telling me people can see the game just literally based on the first two cards I play? Dude, you guys need help if you play this game. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a little scared for rank. Rank is fine until silver. What happens after silver? Is the game just over? Before we <laughs> Is this the rank? game over in silver? <laughs> is the game just over? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to just discuss how I feel about the game so far being about three and a half hours in. In my opinion, the tutorial... Honestly, for only three and a half hours of gameplay, he's made a lot of progress, but that's the issue if you really think about it, is like, he never would have been able to do this uh, as, as progress without having like an entire hand-holding like, you know, chatting community, just like spamming him, telling him what to do, right? Like average people, normal people don't do that or have that resource. Normal people only have like, Reddit, <laughs> you know? this game just isn't very great in the other card games i have played the tutorial does a really good job of laying the foundation of how a game is actually played out without overwhelming the player right from the beginning this allows the player to enjoy the game on top of learning new decks play styles and just brand new cards that they haven't seen before without feeling lost and not really knowing what to do but the tutorial in Yu-Gi-Oh showed me the foundations of a game that was probably played 15 years ago this does not help the tutorials in Yu-Gi-Oh teach you like the mechanics because there's just so many right because the thing is, like, if in Hearthstone, there is literally, like, three main mechanics. Playing a card, which is literally just drag and drop. Damage. And, like, 
That's basically it. Like, and card text. And card text is like four words. In Yu-Gi-Oh, there's like multiple phases, uh, multiple different types of card effects. Uh, compared to Hearthstone, they are infinitely more complex. Hearthstone is like Battle Cry do something at like the basic level. You know what I mean? Like a very simple like card does that. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, a simple card is like special summon. Um, or grab or search for like one of seven possible options. You know what I mean? Help a new player learn Yu-Gi-Oh that well because when you go into play but casual, when you mode, go into you the solo mode, is where it teaches you like decks. But here's another thing about the problem with solo mode in Masado. Solo mode is not a representation of the game. Like you are going into solo mode, you're not really playing like fully fleshed out decks. Like some of those like World Chalice, uh, Orcus decks, and so, like they're just like mishmashes of like nothing. You know, they'll give you like. World Chalice Charmer. It's like, that is not a representation of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know what I mean? Seem like there's a lot more back and forth. And they have gotten better recently, I will admit. Compared to what it actually is, which is usually the game is over. Fenrir! By turn one. Which uh, leads me sorry, to unicorn. my very first ranked game. What is this? This is when the ranked game starts, and this is when the ranked game ends. Ask yourself, how much time do you think... Wait, how much was that? This ranked game. What is this? This is when the... 15 minute ranked game? Is that a lot? Well, it depends what happened. Rank game starts, and this is when the rank game ends. Ask yourself, how much time do you think I'm actually playing the game? Your attention span not- 15 minutes, okay. The best fit for Yu-Gi-Oh. I disagree, dude. Your attention span might not be the best fit for Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, listen, as someone with uh, undiagnosed HD ADHD, I can tell you that uh, maybe that is not my best fit for, uh, for card games either. That's probably why I suck. But, you know, the game doesn't really lend itself to help you. Uh, with that style of, uh, of game, right? Because, like, there's just so much winning around for your opponent to, like, play the game. His games are fucking over on turn one. Oh my god! <laughs> plants! <laughs> oh, he got plants! Except plant monsters. Jesus, his first game was Rekka? That's, that's just not fair. Dude, you're supposed to be playing structured X in Rookie. What is this? This guy's smurfing. Hey, whoever you are. Um... Asian words. Uh, I'm I'm calling you out. Okay, I'm calling you out. You are smurfing. No one cues into like rookie without knowing uh, with, with plants. Okay, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna go get a drink while this guy's doing his turn. I'll come back and see what I missed. Give me, give me a sec, chat. He's still going. Cactus bouncer. Cactus bouncer. Oh, he is so unaware. What are hand? I don't even know what hand traps are. You guys care if I just like, go to the washroom or something while this is happening? Like, this is probably a good time, right? I got some time, right? How much time do you think I got for this turn, chat? A couple minutes? You still doing shit. All right, perfect. Yeah, you got time. Dude, this is funny. He didn't even do any Sunvine plays. Oh, are we done? All right. Okay, well, that's a misplay. Oh, wait, hold on. It's our turn. I forgot. When a card is activated, you can detach one material at the same time and then get the activation. Oh no. Sure. Well, this is the problem. You're reading the card after you've uh, gone to the bathroom and, uh, and went to the went to get a drink. Um, and then you've activated a card and made a play, but you haven't read what your opponent has done, right? Like, admittedly, there is a degree of responsibility here, you know? Lake monster. Wait, hold on. I don't really. Do I have a way to negate this? Activate! <laughs> so, let me get something straight. Because this guy went first, he was basically. Add gazelle? Still able to set up his board to counter what I was doing, and I just have to idly sit by while he did that. Dude, who plays this game? <laughs> you want to race or uh, meter sprint, but then your opponent says, "Yeah, but I get to start fifty uh, meters ahead." Right, I, <laughs> I, I should have done that. You just described the coin flip. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have a race, but I'm starting fifty meters ahead. <laughs> Like, can I even do anything? I guess not, right? I just end my turn. I guess I could do this and see what I draw. You messed up. I think I'm <laughs> just with. chatting. Like, I probably could have played last turn better. Wouldn't it be better to learn to play Dude, every time some of you, one of you recommends me, hey, Raren, maybe you should play with another YouTuber. That would help you. You hear how delusional that sounds? Hey, dude, in order for you to play this game, you need to get a coach. <laughs> That's true. I mean, like, that is not wrong, right? Like, the fact that you need to, like, get a coach to understand Yu Gi Oh is, like, just kind of a fundamental flaw, you know? That's with every card game, so you have to catch up where everyone's at. I, dude, you are coping out of your mind if you think this, the learning curve in this game, is not insane compared to other card games. Checkpoint. 
Like curiosity, how long did it take you to feel comfortable with Runeterra? Probably like in two games. Because Runeterra, thankfully, is super easy to get into because the cards don't fucking read like this. This <laughs> one card is like three Runeterra cards. And this card also <laughs> comes with this card and this card and this card and this card. Magic for me was easier to understand because at least there's the basis of the mana system and you can understand why how other cards work because there's not an apeshit amount of cards being played in one turn. Like not having a resource system in this game is the weirdest conundrum for like any player who hasn't played it because every other game, every other card game has a mana system or some kind of resource system. Hey, Raren, how was your how was your gameplay of Yu-Gi-Oh today? Oh, I don't know. I watched my opponent play for 10 minutes and I was sitting there waiting. <sighs> I mean, what do you say to that, right? Like, just don't fucking play it then? Well, I mean, yes, that's the conclusion he came to. I don't know, like, why you're saying just just don't fucking play that. Well, yeah, he's not going to play. And that's it. He's like, he's done this as an experiment. He's quitting, right? And there you go. That's a potential person in the community. That's a potential player. That's a potential, uh, you know, cu uh, customer for the business, right? Like, like, it's very easy to, to just say, like, well, don't play. You know, who cares? It's a niche game. I like that is a legitimate argument, I guess. Like, Yu Gi Oh does not need to apply to everyone, I suppose. But you have to admit, like, you know, the game doesn't really do enough to give you that carrot on a stick kind of thing. It's, it's so ridiculous, dude. I don't know how I'm going to play this for six more hours, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> this was 15 minutes and he activated two cards. That game went on for what, 13 minutes? I think I played the game for 20 seconds, maybe. <laughs> Somewhere around there. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I want to play this game for 10 hours. The reality of the situation is, is after playing a game for four hours and 10 minutes, I'm not really having any fun. Unless I'm missing something that I don't think I am. Like I, I played a good, apparently you guys gave me a deck that was probably good. I tried the tutorial. I tried casual mode. I tried ranked. It's just, it's the, this game is not for me. I am missing something that has made, is gonna make the game more approachable. I think people pulling you in 70, 70 different directions. No, dude, see the thing is, is like, it's not because chat's telling me that I'm doing something wrong or whatever. I just think the game is too fucking hard to just wrap my head around and actually enjoy the game. I play Hearthstone because I think it's the most fun card game, right? I don't think Hearthstone's the, the best card game in the world, but I personally enjoy it the most, right? When I played Hearthstone 10 years ago, when I played the game for 20 minutes, I was like, I'm gonna like this game quite a bit. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not give me the same vibe. I played the game for four hours and 15 minutes at this point. And I'm, again, like I said, I played it previously last year. I gave it a try. I just don't have that sense of enjoyment, right? There's too much going on. It's not fun to play. It's gonna take me another six years to figure out what every deck does. Also, this is like the main issue, right? Cause like fundamentally like Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of fun at the top level but you need a lot of coaching you need a lot of help to be able to understand it and even then if you don't like the style of modern Yu-Gi-Oh, there the game doesn't offer you an alternative way to play right and i think that's maybe like one of the major issues because there are so many different styles of Yu-Gi-Oh that you can play you could opt out of playing like top tier meta decks that take like 20 minutes you can play like the absolute doggy dog decks and it's like kind of fun right you can play like legacy formats and time wizard but there isn't really like a good way of that being promoted to players. And that's one of like the biggest flaws of Master Duel that I feel like was just completely ignored and not addressed on release. The fact that Master Duel came out on release and had the biggest burst of play, I think it was like number one on Steam for like a solid week, right? That is so much exposure to the world and it has like the fattest fall off in Yu-Gi-Oh. The fact that you queue into bronze in Master Duel on release and you play against Alpha Discard Zeta is the biggest tragedy in the history of modern games. And I will stand by that. There is nothing more disastrous and more tragic in the launch of a game than the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh dropped with the best deck being Drytron. How is that reasonable? Do you know what? That, that is such a massive miss. Imagine if the game dropped with maybe something like Modern, but the priority system was bringing back new player, uh, older players, people who used to play the game, people who used to enjoy the anime, and your first like level of gameplay was like setting up a tomato or activating a Sakuretsu armor. You know what I mean? And like people joined Master Duel and they were getting VFD'd and heralded. I, I, it's just such a tragedy and I think it was such a miss. Apparently going first is just fucking broken. If going first is so strong, that means half the game, half the time you're not even playing the game. In Hearthstone, if I'm playing a game, even if my opponent has a slight advantage going first, at least I get to play the game. At least I get to do something that my deck does. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how. So this is the uh, massive illusion that is given to you by games like Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, right? You could be an absolute dog 
a complete animal, and you will still be able to, like, feel as though you play the game. It'll definitely be, like, the illusion of choice, but as a world champion versus a noob in Magic and Hearthstone, you will get a couple of turns where you get to activate your cards and do stuff, right? And it's the illusion of <laughs> freedom to an extent meme, right? Because that game was decided before you sat down. However, the fact that you actually get to activate and play your cards provides you an illusion of, like, gameplay. Because even your opponent could be the greatest master of that game in Hearthstone or Magic, and their best turn one is to play one singular card and pass to you. And there you go. You now get to do something. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not offer you that uh, reality. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, everything in a duel is funneled to turn one. And there is nothing you can do about that. Which is why legacy formats are so incredible. Because there is very few auto wins on turn one in legacy format. Yes, I understand before you start well actualing me, there are tons of legacy FTKs and gimmick decks like Magic Library, Zodia Draw, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm talking about. The general Time Wizard gameplay is like the best deck will probably like set a Raikou and pass. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Modern does not give you anything close to that. How anybody plays this? If I need to get a fucking coach to understand Yu-Gi-Oh! just to enjoy the game, not even to be good at it, I don't think this game's worth playing 10 hours for. So if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you like the game, Awesome. I'm so happy for you. Keep on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Honestly, the only part I really enjoyed was getting my Blue Eyes White Dragon. Because <laughs> at least he looks cool. A lot to process and a lot to unpack there. But that is just a confirmation of the sad reality of the uh, unfriendliness that is modern Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yes, admittedly, he was being a little bit Pepega and a little bit silly by just not reading more of his cards. That is unfortunate. But at the same time, you have to understand that the approachability of Yu-Gi-Oh is night and day with something like Hearthstone or Magic or Runeterra. You know what I mean? Um, and unfortunately, they're just not on the same level as, as, as games, right? In terms of its approachability and its new player availableness. And Yu-Gi-Oh! has the potential. Has the potential to do that. And I think the key there, at least like the simplest fix, is in Time Wizard. And I really hope that that is something that is introduced into Master Duel because the easiest way to access Yu-Gi-Oh! is digital. It does? No, it doesn't. Where does, where does Yu-Gi-Oh! have that access? It does not have that access. You, you have to, like, hunt around and search for resources in order to be taught these things. That's the thing. You can't just load up Master Duel as, so as someone who's never played the game before, begin your new player experience, and then somehow spawn in your brain that, oh, there actually is alternate fun ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? That just doesn't exist. Anyway, this was an interesting video. Um, I think a lot of that was valid, but a lot of it was also, like... Please, bro, just read your fucking card. Like, what are you doing? Please just read your card. Please, I beg you, dude. Please read your card. Right? Because, like, one of the main criticisms is, like, oh, I'm going to go in completely blind and isolate myself and not get any help, which I understand is a good way to play because it's a new player experience. But there are lots of games where it's not that unreasonable to go and Google something. If you play Path of Exile or Diablo or World of Warcraft or even any, like, semi-complicated single-player RPG game, Elden Ring, like... It's not unreasonable to, like, Google a couple of things, right? And in the same way, if you were to, like, do that in Yu-Gi-Oh!, where you, like, Google maybe, like, a basic Salomon Great combo line or something like that, or good new player deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! for Master Duel, you would probably be exposed to a decent amount of information. There's so much resources out there. So I think the fact that, like, I don't think it's super valid to go in completely blind, which I think is the main criticism that I have of this video, is, like, he tried really hard to just play totally in isolation, which isn't really the modern way to play games in 2023, right? Like, we are, as a generation, we have evolved into, we don't, a lot of games sometimes aren't even played for fun, per se. A lot of games are played to min-max and optimize. Like, no one went and played, like, all of these new launches of games. People always, you know, why do you think, like, tier lists and stuff are so popular on YouTube of any game? Like, tier list, best hero, tier list, best decks, tier list, best champion, tier list, um... Uh, best uh, X, Y, Z in any other game, right? Like, because as a, as a generation, we've just opted into going down that path. And there's a lot of resources that Yu-Gi-Oh! offers you in that regard. Anyway, this has been my reaction. I'm like, subscribe. Shout out to Raran for this. And peace out.